So I just got back from the piercer. Um, I got both of my conches done at a six gauge. Um, originally I wanted to go a lot bigger, but as it turns out, they couldn't do any larger. We actually pierced it at an eight gauge with a needle because they couldn't do punches there. Um, it, I think it's like a state law thing. So anyway, I'm totally fine with that because I was excited to do it to begin with. And also I don't have a ton of room, so I'm probably going to have to kind of stretch to the size that I want. Um, and I'm definitely hoping I can eventually get to like possibly a two gauge. I don't know if I'll have the room, but I'm definitely going to try. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to kind of talk about it and talk about how it was. Um, it was definitely, <laughs> it would definitely be painful for a lot of people. I'm kind of used to getting pierced and tattooed and stuff so it wasn't too terrible for me but it was um like the initial piercing part wasn't that terrible it was uh definitely worse than most of the cartilage piercings I've had even my doth piercings um but it didn't make that satisfying crunch like that crunch didn't happen and I was really sad um but it was not the needle that was terrible it was actually the pulling the needle out through the back um even when he inserted the plug um that wasn't terrible. It was pulling the needle out. Sorry, my dog is, uh, he's coughing. <laughs> anyway, so it definitely wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I mean, they're pretty sore and kind of stinging right now, but that's kind of to be expected. I don't know if you can really see in there. They're pretty teeny, but they're cute. You don't see that side. Um, I got them done with clear plugs because that's kind of what they had. Um, but I like the clear because you can kind of see through them. Um, I'll probably have to wait about a year before I can start stretching them, but I'm okay with that because they're definitely <laughs> very irritated right now. And I'm interested to see how much they'll swell or how irritated they'll get because I tend to swell a lot. Um, but he did put the O-rings on kind of loose and I might even pull them a little farther back tonight depending on how it's looking and how irritated they get. Um, and I'll definitely be using a neck pillow. <sighs> for the foreseeable future, which is sad, but I'm really excited and happy I got it done. Um, it definitely, like I said, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And I know they said that the piercing with the needle would be kind of worse than a punch, but um, I don't know. I think if you're used to getting pierced, it's not gonna be a huge deal for you. Um, but if this is like one of your first piercings, it might be kind of scary. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, I'm excited to see how they heal and how it goes. Um, I usually just use the, the litha method. So I'll probably just kind of wash them a little bit in the shower every day. I usually, even if I don't take a shower, I'll just kind of pop my head in there, get it all wet, and then um, pull my head back out just to make sure that they're kind of washed off and clean and they're not getting dirty. Um, other than that though, I'm just gonna kind of let them do their thing. Um, but like I said, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, so. I'll give you one last look. I'll try to like post a picture or something so you can kind of see a little better. Um, and my ears are definitely red and annoyed, but anyway, I just wanted to share. So last night I loosened up the o-rings and actually moved the o-ring back a tiny bit um, because my ears had swollen all the way to the o-ring uh, and I think that's why I was having a lot of soreness and stuff. And it was just kind of like almost like a headache. Um, it even kind of went into my teeth. <laughs> so I was like, mm, something's wrong. So I went and I ch checked and of course I had swollen all the way to the o-ring. So once I moved those back, like instant relief um and when i woke up this morning because i slept on my back um when i woke up this morning i had no pain so it's really awesome uh it's a little swollen you can kind of see on the edge here um and i slept without my plugs just to kind of help it along i figured it's probably not good to have a bunch of stuff in my ear right now um, since they are a little bit swollen, but they're looking a lot better than I thought that they would. Um, definitely not as swollen as when I had my industrials done. <laughs> but, yeah, I thought I'd give you an update.
So I am officially on day five. Uh, my ears are doing pretty well. The conches are just um, not sore at all, actually. I think the only time they've gotten sore is from me rolling in my sleep and not, <laughs> not being able to stay on my back. I'm a stomach sleeper, so it's really hard for me to sleep that way, but I am going to adjust. <laughs> um, here is kind of what they look like. I don't know if you can see that well. They're a little bit swollen. It's actually, the swelling has gone down into my earlobe itself. You can actually see on the bottom, they're just a little bit puffy. Um, so I decided to just remove my plugs for a while and I've been meaning to kind of like downsize and then upsize again. So I'm just gonna do that now since it's convenient. Um, and then this one is a little bit bloody again, so I'll probably clean it again <laughs> from rolling in my sleep, so. I think that's going to be the hardest part of this is just not rolling around um, and ending up on my stomach in the middle of the night with my head like sideways. I did use a neck pillow, but for some reason I just keep like knocking my head out of it. So uh, probably just going to try to sleep on my back for at least a couple of months if I can manage it <laughs> to at least get them like to the point where they're not going to bleed anymore if I roll over. Um, but yeah, I've been really pleasantly surprised with how pain-free they are. The only problem is the swelling. Um, so I've been taking like ibuprofen and stuff here and there just when I notice they're like extra swollen. Um, but other than my earlobes being a little swelled, it's not too bad. Like this upper part of my ear is kind of sore if I touch it. Um, but I think that's to be expected. <laughs> So anyway, I'm really excited about how they're healing. Uh, if I have any changes, I'll try to post about them and maybe I'll do like an update in a month or two just to kind of show how they're doing versus how they were when I got pierced in like the first week or so. Anyway, 